Welcome to another video where I'm going to show you how to do something. You ever try to add a counterpart or a sticker piece that is not on BrickLink and you're like, how do I get it on there? <laughs> so today I'm going to go through on the computer how to add these pieces. These are from the Justice League Party. They are stickered and in 2017 they came out, but they never were added to BrickLink. Let's do it. Okay, so now we're on uh, the BrickLink site, BrickLink.com. How do you add these parts? It's very confusing if you if you don't know about part numbers and things like that. So I'm going to try my best to explain it in mo the best detail I can, but very fast. Um, so what you do, what I do, go to catalog items. The first thing is is to find the part number. We're going to do the two by four tiles, which is eight. 7079 and then put the wild card and hit enter or search this will bring all these up the next step you want to do is put item number here sort by item number and put it down what we're trying to do is we're creating a whole new part number in within the brick link so see these numbers go 730 731 732 733 so we're going to create part number 734 with all these there so i've already i've already done all this um for all these parts, I, I mean, I didn't add them yet, but I have them ready. I did, so I've already looked this up. So to keep it going, then you go to add or change. Once you know this, what number it should be, go to add or change, and then we're adding a part. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna grab my number that we have, and the, oh, I got okay. You got to know the category too. I didn't mark that down. Um, category is tile decorated this is promotional which this these are not promotional pieces so tile decorated we're doing and we got to go down to t for tile decorated there we go and we have the part number that's the next one now you have to come up with the item name <laughs> so this is where you know you'll hear people say what well, that doesn't make sense on what this name is so you have the power to create what it is right here now um, you don't get on me if they don't seem enough <laughs> um, But this is this is what I came up with and anyone can go in here and actually request to change it. So here's what I put and I'll, I'll let me pull up a picture of it here. This is what the part looks like It says 57th justice and anniversary is not quite there, but I, I decided to put it on there So anytime someone would put tile 2 by 4 and you just put 57th It'll come up or if they just put justice, it'll come up um and things like that and I did not get the weight so you just got to find the weight it's and you just take it from this is a sticker so it's going to be the same exact weight so 0.9 grams size 2 by 4 studs so you just got to do point is it point 0.9 yeah point 0.9 and then it's 2 by 4 and you add it to the catalog and it was successfully added and pending approval so I'm going to quickly do that with all of these here. There's only two different size parts. I'm just going to remember that 0.2 by 4. And then we go to item name. This is the other side of the banner, which looks, I'll pull that up here. This is what it looks like. Annual League Anniversary Party. And... So I put annual as a word, league as a different word, party as a different word, banner, and from what, and also the set. So you'll see every single one of these have to start the same tile two by four, and then you put whatever else you want after that. And in this case, anytime anyone looks up this set number, it'll come up in the search result as a part from that set number from that set. So that's that's what you want to have happen to help make it easier. So we have set number part number seven thirty five now, and we add. And uh, so this is this. So these are these are the only sticker parts for this set. There's four of them, and we had 0.9 grams, two by four. And I'll pull that up so you can see this one. I had trouble describing, <laughs> um, but it, ultimately in the set it is a, it's a mixing board, a musical mixing board. So this is an audio mixing console control panel pattern. <laughs> So if you don't, if you find there's better words, wordage for that, go ahead and put a request to change it. I doesn't, I don't care. Whatever helps people find it. Um, 
but that is what it is. It's it's a DJ's uh, audio mixing board. So that is now added. And then the final one, and that, that part number is going to be this. So this going back, I mean, you just go back to that first part, how to search for it. You just take the, the, number, the actual full part number and put the wild card in, but you want to make sure you select catalog items so it doesn't, I'm not sure what the difference is. I think it brings you to this different search here. Um, and you go to item number down go and this is where I got this number 265 is the most recent part we're doing 266 and then here's the description and I need to find the weight of these so I did not do that so 0.34 grams 1 by 2 by 0.67 so let's see here 1 by 2 by 0.67 and then I'll show you this picture, which is, uh, I didn't know how to explain this one, honestly, but I know it's part, the picture's kind of blurry too. I couldn't, I need a better camera for close-ups or need to retake it, but you can see it. Audio, let me clear that up. Audio mixing con volume control panel. I don't know. If you can find something better, definitely do it. That is now added. All right, go to add or change again. <laughs> Same spot to get there. Now I have four new items that are pending here, which should be all of these. But you notice there's no photograph. Your next step is go to auto add or change. And then you go to add an image for a part. So here we go. And now we have a part. You select the color of the part, which the first two are white. And then you just got to get that. So basically, watch this. Um, you add that one of the new numbers you just put in. Uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't come up, but it does know it here. It'll you verify it. It knows it's 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 waiting approval, so it's actually in the system already. Just you can't find it when you search. It's not been approved for the search. And then I'm going to choose my file, uploading. Make sure you know. Make sure you got to take these photos. Obviously, make sure they're the right size because BrickLink is and size of photos is, is can be. Oh, the image is too big, so I'll have to go ahead and edit that. Um, so we'll make sure it says it's going to be 800 by 600 respectively. And we have it for sale, or not for sale, we have the image and we upload. All right, everything should be, that's it. I mean, and there is one more step to add it to the set. Okay, so now it is 7.30 p.m. Uh, the same day as I put those parts, I added them about 1.30 p.m. So what I'm going to do now, I haven't checked, we're going to check together and see if the parts are added so I'm just gonna put the set number in because each of the parts had the set number in the description see what comes up boom there they are so now even though that you put the set number in if you look at the set and you look at the counterparts down at the bottom they're always at the bottom the, they are not here there's only these wings and this piece together so the next step is to go to add or change and then when I added those other ones right here would say uh, new items right here. It would have four for you for it if, I, if those were still pending. You can always check there as well. See if anything's still pending that you changed. So add an image. Or no, we're not adding an image. We already did that. <laughs> we're um, change inventory to a set. Uh, it's 70919-1. It and we're doing four entries. There we go. So we're adding 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 and now i'm going to plug in the oops, the part numbers i have them just on a, a notepad over here i know it's it's grueling you gotta go through this for you only gotta do it once per set and it's done so then you can you so once i see these are added i'm going to be the first one to have the parts for sale the first and only for who knows maybe weeks you never know <laughs> Um, but then you have to know the p color ID. It's on the side here. So white and white. And then uh, what was it? Dark bluish gray were the other two. So that would be 85, 85, 85. And these are counterparts. And it was an <laughs> one, one, uh, one. And then there's two of those with the, yeah. What I talked about earlier, what however I did it. So here we go. Look, it's gonna, it's gonna. I'm gonna submit the request. So we're telling it there's two of these. There's one of those and one of those, one of those. So 
we submit the request and then you can look at your um look at your request view the message that was generated in the discussion forum so if you go to community forum here right here pops block shop just submitted an inventory change request for set 70919 and it has it in there for the administrators or the admins whatever you want to call it. it's an open status so i can just kind of keep going and checking this uh for it to show me when it's when it's updated so i will end this clip and we will check back when it is added okay i just ended that last clip but i just noticed i just want to go over they did make changes to my wording um which is fine you know we want it to be good um, I guess you'd put in the comments whether you think it was better what they put or not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I, it's kind of the 57th one is the first one here. I put 57th justice anniversary banner pattern. Um, it doesn't say anniversary of the whole thing. It is cut off. So they put 57th justice anniversary with an S banner with three magenta stars pattern. Well, that, that, that works better, I guess. So that's nice it has three magenta stars i mean that is literally describing it which is good so that is i think that's a, that's a win um i would just not to think to put that <laughs> i'm just i'm just looking at the wording you know um and then the next one here is going to be i put uh annual league party banner pattern they just put annual league ary <laughs> part or they put party at the end okay well that's long as they oh wait ARY. Oh, ARY is for the anniversary, the end of that. Banner with three magenta stars pattern. Okay, that's that's fine. It literally did not say... I guess the ARY is on there, so that's why they're putting it. Whatever, it works. Okay, and then for the this tile here, I put um, audio mixing console control panel pattern. I did mean to put DJ because um, that's what I knew it, would, it was for a DJ. I, I don't know why I didn't, but they put DJ mixing console with knobs faders lights and buttons so okay that works i don't know i don't think control is a control on there see control panel when you look at that if you don't know what set it's from you may not know that so that's why a control panel a lot of times i search for that because that's what the space ones are but whatever um if you want it change you can you can request they add that and they may or may not <laughs> uh, but looking at what they change from mine they probably won't depends on who you get i guess and then um this last one here i put audio mixing volume control panel pattern they put a slope with knob lights and buttons pattern okay i guess that's pretty general um not sure how you determine something oh i guess that knob you turn it's a it's a dial though i don't know anyway seems pretty good i mean these are if you don't know what set these are from if you're just looking at these two pieces you're gonna have a tough time finding them um that's just how it is so just wanted to go through that all right so it's been four days since i requested the parts be added to the set as counterparts and i'm plugging the set number in going into the set set inventory tab it's all the way at the bottom and boom, they have added the parts. This doesn't look nice. Anyone have a, anyone have a, I don't know why they have a picture of this. Oh, it's not the right color. Uh, but then someone needs to add a picture for that and make it look special here. Um, so here are the, the four parts, stickered parts for the set now show up as a counterpart. So when you're parting out the set, it'll show up easy. Even if you don't add them to the set, uh, each of these sticker parts have the set number on the in the actual title so when you plug in like I did before the set number they actually all come up with the sticker sheet so that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this instructional video I don't really do these that often um, I don't know, I hope hope <laughs> it was easy to follow um, so yeah if you have any stickered parts that need to be added to BrickLink that is how you do it Thank you.